engagement is one of the four core values of the university. And so engagement means really interacting with communities. One of the ways that we do that is through service learning. And service learning is, a, is an active pedagogy. It's a pedagogy, it's a teaching um, strategy, it's a teaching philosophy. One of the things that's always interested me is in really getting students involved in the community. But in a lot of ways, it can be kind of hard to do that. So I really saw service learning as an opportunity to fit within that course load the chance for them to actually get involved in the community. I knew I've always been really interested in community nutrition. So when I my advisor told me about the class, and I was like, that sounds perfect. That's exactly what I want. Service learning is not like any other course that they take. The ability to connect the research and theory with practice and, and do it in such a meaningful way is, is not like their typical college course. Most of the classes we take are lectures. This class is more of, you know, you are more interactive and up on your feet doing things. This is just a great opportunity for you to help others. I think that it's really important for people to step out of their comfort zone and when people do, they realize what they can really achieve. It gives them a better idea of what is actually going on in the community around them. A lot of students um, at UConn can often spend most of their time at UConn and they don't really get out in any of the surrounding communities. For the students, getting to see that is very useful because it then makes the transition to the job market smoother for them and uh, makes when they go to interviews they can talk about these experiences with potential employers. It allowed me to engage in very deep level learning with my students and, and forming relationships that I don't think I would have formed to the same degree in other courses. It's been a nice way to bridge between the courses I'm teaching and the research that I'm doing. Really I could see people progressing along the tenure track as faculty while engaging in service learning. So the University of Connecticut students come into our classroom meet with our students, work with them one-on-one -on -one or in small groups, applying all of the things that they're learning in the classroom at the university. And also, we benefit tremendously from it as educators because the university is on the cutting edge of research-based instruction, and that's just where we want to be. So it's mutually beneficial in so many ways. We worked with the um, WESCOG, which is a regional transportation planning group. And then we executed the survey, the students advertised the survey, the students entered it in the software. Now we're reaching out to another group called Connecticut Rides. So then that Westcott group was able to get Connecticut Rides to show what we had done and then Connecticut Rides comes back to our campus and they want to help us out. How, you know, how do you get that? A lot of the kids come into class and they see me and they already know my name and they're like, hey, what's up, Gabe? And you give them a nice high five and they're ready to listen. Even just little victories when you're there, like a kid's able to recognize beans are green and they can make that association, little things like that, um, get me more excited than I really thought they would. I realized that I really like working with people. I definitely couldn't have like a desk job or anything. This is a great opportunity for us as people to step outside of ourselves a little bit and integrate ourselves into our communities. It really pulls you out of your comfort zone and you learn so much about yourself and you learn so much about the community around you. Um, and it's just an enlightening experience in general, and it's fun. That's what service learning has done for my classroom. It's made it exciting and more relevant. Service learning at the University of Connecticut really is beneficial to everyone involved. I'm really grateful that we're a part of it. It's not something that you'd be able to get from any class. It's, it's a different kind of learning. Going into a community extends the classroom. It extends it uh, into the real world, and that makes learning that much more realistic. It makes it that much more sustainable, and that's the most important part.